We found some deer. Here are two deers. I'm assuming one is the male and one is the female and they are coming together for this time of spring to, you know, have a bebe. <laughs> What's up guys, Ewan Stream back here with another Minecraft video. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can unlock a ton of super rare brand new mobs in your very own Minecraft world. Like, I'm talking more than 20 new mobs, including tigers, panthers, deer, and you can probably already hear them because they're ruining the intro and they won't shut up! Birds! Ah, why would they? Where even are these? Where are they? I literally can't see any birds around them and all I can hear is I am going crazy. Okay, where are these? Okay, you know what? You know, some of these mobs are great, but okay, I'm going. Okay, my mind. They're going. Where are these? Oh my goodness. There's one right there. Guys, give me a second. Oh, oh, where did they go? Oops, you guys saw that. I made them, I, I mean, I didn't kill the birds. I mean, oh look, they, they just they just disappeared. It wasn't me, but they just kept tweeting. They kept tweeting, but it's okay now, guys. So yes, back to the video. I'm gonna show you a ton of crazy, awesome, brand new mobs, except the bird, because that is not a, a crazy, brand new, awesome mob. That, that thing is incredibly annoying. But trust me, guys, the rest of the other mobs are really, really cool. So if you're looking for today's video, leave a like down below. We're going for 10,000 likes. And of course, guys, if you wanna see the coolest things and how you can unlock all types of brand new stuff in Minecraft, you know, secret tips and all that great stuff to show off to your friends. Make sure to subscribe, the subscribe button and the bell icon to ling ding ding to never miss an upload. But I think this is what we're going to do, guys, because I want to show you all of these crazy brand new mobs. I'm going to do that first. And then at the very end of today's video, I'll show you exactly how you can get these in your very own Minecraft world. So make sure you watch the whole video and stick around till the end if you want to get these in your own world. But let's get started. We're going on Safari. Welcome. Oh, hold up, guys. Let me just do my documentary voice real quick here. Welcome to the tiger biome. Here we can view the villagers in their natural habitat, looking at this composter. Look at him. Look at him look in love. Look at him look at love at this composter. This is a villager in his natural environment. Okay. Now let us explore the tiger biome to see whether we can find any brand new mobs. Do you guys see anything? Sometimes mobs are very hard to spot in their native environment. <gasps> Right there, a very rare something or rather. My eyes can't see, I'm not very, I'm blind guys, I'm blind. Ooh, this is a bear in its natural environment. Bears tend to be quite hostile. Look at this guys, check it out, our first brand new mob. We've got this bear, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop the documentary for now, but look at these guys, they're so cute. Oh my goodness, so these guys are the forest bears. Now I believe these come in black and other, whoa, okay. They make big roaring sounds. So I believe these also come in black depending on the biome that you spawn them in. Villager, I would not stand near the bears. Okay, the, the villager is with the bear. The friends with the bears. Whoa, listen to these guys. There's a real... Those do not sound nice. Now, if we switch into survival real quick here. Are you guys friendly? You're friendly? Okay, so bears seem to be friendly, but if I hit them... Are they? Oh, yep, not fr not friendly. Yep, okay, well, I should have known that. Well, that was pretty stupid, Jordan. Of course, if you hit a bear, it's not going to be friendly. Guys, moral of the story here, if you see a bear in real life or in Minecraft, don't hit it, you will die. All right, let's continue on our nature expedition. So, without the tiger biome, there is another type of mob that is very native to the tiger biome. And that mob is known as the deer. But the deer is quite quick and agile and is very hard to spot in its natural environment. Do you guys see any deer? Hmm. <gasps> Oh no, that's a bird. Oh no, that's a bird. Stay away. Stay away. Stay <gasps> We found a bird. Okay. No, not a we didn't find a bird. We found some deer. Here are two deers. I'm assuming one is the male and one is the female and they are coming together for this time of spring to, you know, have a bebe. Oh. Wow, is that the sound the deers make? Oh my goodness, this bear was camouflaged with the grass. I didn't even see. But guys, here we have the, the native deers to the tiger biome and, uh, Oh, there, there, that's a brown bear right here, guys. These are more rare than the regular bears. We've got our brown bear there. So, well, now you've seen it. It's not very rare, but normally those have like a one in a hundred chance of spawning. So that's crazy rare. Now, um, it does seem that these deers seem to have had a fight and the girlfriend is now leaving the boyfriend because he didn't share his grass. This is natural in the, in the native habitat of, of the tiger biome. They make, deers make weird 
Diz. Oh my goodness. Where did this one come? Am I blind? These guys like literally blend in with the soil here, guys. I did not see this third deer. Now, uh, once again, we must experiment. Are these guys friendly if you hit them? Okay, so uh, if you hit the deer, they are just going to run away. Don't hit one of these guys. They will kill you. Very, very interesting. Now, <laughs> these are absolutely adorable. But now that we've seen those, let's see whether we can find any other mobs. Now, I do believe there are, I, there's a jungle nearby. Yes, there is. All right, cool. Now, guys, what mobs are native to the... Oh, do I even need to go? Now, guys, in the nate... Okay, where are we? What kind of jungles? In the in the tropical rainforests of uh, the sub-Saharan Africa. I don't even know if that's a legitimate place. But here we are in the tropical rainforests. And oh, look at that. That is a very rare uh, Beng Bengalese... Beng it's a tiger. I, I can't remember what the different species of tigers here, guys. But look at this bad boy. This is like an ocelot, but, uh, you know, he, he grow a little bit bigger. So these are the tigers that spawn inside the jungle biome. Now, you definitely do not want to mess with these. Ah, it's a bird! Run! Oh, no. No, the chirping. The chirping. Run, 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 run. I'm sorry, tiger. We can look at you in a second. But uh, there's a bird there. And I need to stay away from the birds. The birds are going to make me go crazy. Guys, I'm already going crazy. The little, the chirping. It's just so annoying. Hello, Mr. Tiger. Here is the tiger, guys. Now. Oh, my gosh. We spawned a baby tiger. This so cute. Ah! <laughs> look at these guys. We have a baby tiger. Those are absolutely adorable. Okay. The mummy and daddy don't look too happy that I'm here with their baby tiger. Look at them. They look like they're... Whoa, okay, all right, all right, hold your horses. Now, the tiger is uh, very friendly and docile. Just don't get too close to their younglings. Also, don't hit their younglings. Or they will, okay, they attack in packs. They do a lot of damage. Uh, don't do this at home, guys. If you ever see a tiger in real life, once again, moral of the story, these guys are heckin' quick, and they will catch up to you. All right, this is uh, EY Stream signing off for today's. Oh, my goodness, there's another baby. Oh, no, I've got to, oh, no, nope, 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 nope. Okay, okay, now, nope. run, 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 run. <laughs> Now, it is in fact rumored that the legendary panther, <gasps> here is one, stays near the jungle temples to guard whatever treasure lies inside. It is said that the panther, it, ooh, okay, that's a scary growl. We're just going to hide behind this tree. The natives of the jungle forest have legends about the panther being the one to protect the treasure. These guys are fast, sleek, and as black as night. Often nocturnal animals never leaving the temple unless somebody comes nearby. They are said to be the sole protectors of the treasure in the temple. However, if you come and take the treasure, they are known to kill you immediately. Once again, guys. Okay, enough of this documentary voice. At least for now. I kind of like doing the documentary voice. But these guys are also quite friendly unless you hit them. If you hit them. Once again, with the tiger. Okay, I can't even hit them. They're so quick. Once again, with the tiger, they will chase you if you hit them. So don't. You know, basically, this, this video is a lesson. Don't hit animals, guys. It's not okay. Okay. Oh, all right. Let's switch into creative once again. Don't hit the panthers. They are about double the speed of the tigers. So you really, really, guys, just take my advice. You don't want to mess with them. All right. So I think we pretty much checked out all the brand new mobs in the jungle and tiger biomes. We're going to need to switch up the biome if we want to find any more new mobs. So, uh, let's go. Ah, oh, we have come across the natural habitat of the penguin, the iceberg biome. How fascinating. This here is a collective society of birds known as the penguins. And they also make really annoying sounds. What are with the birds and making annoying sounds? Listen to these. <gasps> oh my gosh, baby penguin. Oh, it's so cute, guys. The penguins are very cute animals, but their sounds are less cute and often quite annoying. Okay, really, really annoying. I'm just going to stand over here and, and, and view from the side on. But guys, these are the penguins. These are also quite docile mobs, even if you hit them. Oh my gosh, it's a bird. Stay away from me. Okay, but uh, guys, the penguins are really, really cute. And you know what? You can kind of put up their sounds because of how cute they are. They normally spawn in packs like this. They like to have little, uh, little parties here in the water. And look, they're just absolutely adorable. Okay. This sound is really annoying. All right, we've now checked out the penguins, guys. We must now go to... Oh, my gosh, the panther. But those aren't new mobs. They're not the interesting ones today, even though they are adorable. We need to find a desert so we can find all the brand new desert mobs. Oh, a desert. How intriguing. Let's go check out and see whether we can find any new mobs. Ah, a bunch of natural camels. Have a look at these fascinating species known to keep ridiculous amounts of water in their humps to go for days through the desert, trekking and hiking. 
Now, some believe that you can actually go ahead and ride these fascinating creatures, but only... Oh my goodness, you can! I was making that up, guys! I was like, you can tame... You can tame one of these? I was literally, guys, pretending like, you know, because in real life you can ride camels, but I didn't know you could ride the camels in Minecraft. You can actually ride the camels in Minecraft. This is great. And you can see them too. Onwards and forwards, camel! Can you... Okay, wait. They do They do listen to you. Onwards and forwards, sir, camel. Look at this, guys. Now, they're like as, hard, as fast as horses. I don't think they're as fast as horses in real life, guys. Camels are usually quite slow instruments. Uh, slow instruments. They are not instruments. <laughs> He's an animal, guys. And camels usually go quite slowly. But apparently in Minecraft, they're like flipping speed crazy. Look at the... Okay, no, this is a slow camel right here, guys. So maybe they have varying speeds. We can actually go ahead and tame these adorable camels. And ooh... This is another brand new mob, guys. These here are essentially dr drowned skeletons, and these are called the Emerged. Have a look at these guys. These are the Emerged. Uh, out in the sun, they are going to burn, but in water, they're pretty okay. They're basically skeletons underwater, kind of like how drowned are zombies underwater. And also, I want a baby camel. Come on, please give us a baby camel. Please give us a baby camel. I just want a baby. That's all I need in my life. Just one baby camel. Okay. Oh, wait. There. There, 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 there. We got one. Its head is so big. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What is... <laughs> his neck is bigger than his body, guys. That's adorable. Oh, and right. We wanted to check out the village. Now, you see, guys, in villages, there's also very specific mobs that can spawn. Oh, there's another, there's another baby uh, camel over there. They're so cute. And also, I'm really... Oh, okay. Here we go, guys. This here is a mouse. Now, these are just your regular house mice. And uh, as usual, they're being incredibly annoying and infecting all the villagers here, trying to take out the food sources, all that great stuff, you know. Mouses are just as annoying here as they are in real life. But there is another little rodent that seems to scurry around these villages. And right here, guys, we have to be very quiet because this... Oh, it's quite quick. You've got, to, you've got to have a very keen eye to spot this, guys. Where did it... That's a mouse. Where did it go? Uh, okay. As I was saying, you need to be very... Oh, there it is. This here, guys, is a hamster. A hamster that lives with the villagers and is often tamed by the villagers here in the desert village. Now, hamsters can spawn in pretty much any village. They are absolutely adorable. And I believe they come in many different colors. And I say that, but they're all the same color here. But I believe it is biome dependent. So if you are inside a jungle biome, you will get a hamster that looks brown. If you are in a desert, you will get a hamster that looks white. How fascinating. Hamsters are very adorable and not as annoying as mice, but can still be just as annoying. <laughs> All right, guys, we have now checked out the mob in the desert biome. It is time for us to venture forward onto the savannah biome. Honestly, this is like the best seed ever, guys. Every single biome is like one after the other. I'm just saying I picked a pretty good seed for today. Now, the savannah actually has some of the coolest instruments. Oh, my God. Why do I keep calling them instruments? What is wrong with me, guys? They have some of the coolest animals. Like... Instruments? Maybe I'm just crazy because the birds have like chirped so much that my brain cells have literally died inside my head. Oh my, we seem to have found the animal kingdom of the savannah. One of the most diverse places on face of planet Earth, the African savannah has, is home to some of the most incredible and bizarre and beautiful animals, including the elephants. You can see here we have a herd of element of elephantes and a ton of annoying bees. Listen to them go. Bzzz. Now, you see, the bees are quite annoying to the elephants, and this is why they have their tails. Their tails actually flip and flop back and forth to annoy the bees enough to make them go away. I don't know if that's actually true, guys. I think I saw that on, like, a TV show or something. I don't really know if that's true. But the elephants are magnificent beasts. Look at their horns, their trunks. Their trunks? Their trunks and their, their husks? T horns? Hor tusks? Tusks, that's the word. Horns, they're tusks. What a magnificent beings of the Sabana. You can see here they normally spawn in herds. Very, very interesting. I would love to get a baby elephant. Please give me a please give me a baby elephant. I just want a baby. please give me a baby. Please. <gasps> this here is a go Oh, I probably should Oh, they do not sound happy. Okay, don't hit the elephants. This here is a baby elephant. Very adorable, very cute, and indeed one of the finest things of the uh, Sahara Desert. Not the Sahara Desert. All right, let's 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 have a look around here, guys. Wait, there seems to be an awful lot of bubbling going on here. Oh, my goodness. We have found an entire colony of frogs. Holy mo- There's so many frogs here. What? Oh, my good- Oh, okay. Yep. 
These frogs also make incredibly annoying sounds, but look at this guys. These guys have been having a whole party, a frog party, and why wasn't I invited? This here seems to be a, a duck. Oh, yes, okay, a duck. What else? Ooh, some crocodiles. Ooh, very scary. You don't want to mess with the crocodiles. I can definitely tell you right now, if I switch it to survival and hit one of these bad boys. Yep, 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 not gonna be happy. Okay, no, please don't, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I'm really far away from spawn. Moral of the story, don't hit crocodiles. All right, so we got the crocodiles, very scary. I really would like to find some hippopotami. Hippopotamus, hippopotami? I don't really know, but is that a lion? It is a lion, but the lion seems to be missing a body. <laughs> What? What? What happened to our lion, guys? Okay, lion. This lion seems to be a lion from another universe that somehow manages to survive without a body. And we also have this baby lion who is also missing a body. It is a lion, right? Yeah. These are lions, but apparently their body seems to have glitched out. <laughs> That's very, very strange. All right, I really want to find some hippopotamus. Any hippopotamus? Are you anywhere? Now, I'm sure many of you are aware that hippopotamus love the mud. Now, unfortunately, mud doesn't really exist in Minecraft, but they still like to cool down in the nice water of the savannah, where the hot summer heat does not get to their nice and beautiful skin. Now, you can see here, this here is the mating pool. Now we have to be very quiet because these two hippopotamus are doing a very, very special ritual known as the Omoto Moto. I like it chunky. I like it funky. Moto Moto. Now for those of you guys who don't get that reference, well, why haven't you watched Madagascar? But for those of you do guys, you can see here, this is this is Gloria. This is Moto Moto showing off his butt and hoping that uh that this hippopotamus notices it over there and you know they can uh they can get married or something. I don't know how hippopotamus relationships work, but you know, hippos, they're adorable. All right, so guys, we've checked out a ton of different mobs today. There's actually a ton more, but you know, I'm sure all of you probably want to know, how do I get these mobs to spawn in my Minecraft world? Because when I go exploring my Minecraft world, these mobs don't seem to appear. I, I'm not seeing them, Jordan. How do I get these mobs, like these camels and you know, the hippos and everything to spawn in their, you know, distinct biomes? Well. First off, let me show you. Let me grab out my end chest real quick here, guys. And bang. Oh, check this out, guys. This is a ton of brand new mobs, including elephants, which we've seen. Tortoise, which we haven't seen. We're going to check out some of these ones real quick before I show you how you can get these spawn eggs. Because to get these mobs in your world, you need to have the spawn eggs. Or you can actually set it so that your world spawns them in naturally. Which, of course, guys, I will be showing you. Just hold up. I want to show you some of the cool mobs we didn't get to find. So starfish, nether creepers, uh, hamsters. We saw those frozen beasts. Uh, we've seen most of these. The fleas. Oh, we didn't see any of those. We saw the emerge. Ooh, corrupted skeleton, crocodiles, we saw ender creeper, camels, bumblebee, bird, and bear. So we've seen most of them, mostly the hostile mobs we didn't get a chance to see. So guys, first off is our tortoise, which is kind of like the turtle, except it's a tortoise. Pretty straightforward, these guys are adorable. Alright, we also have the staff. oh, I probably should have spawned this guy in water. Alright, so we have the starfish here, guys, which normally live in the deep depths of the ocean, uh, and in coral reefs, so we've got those. Uh, we have the nether creeper, these guys are gonna spawn in the nether. Uh, basically, let's see, this is, okay, no, no, please don't kill me. We also have the frozen beast, now these are gonna spawn, obviously, in your tundra biomes, along with, you know, the penguins we saw earlier. Bang! These are essentially frozen zombies. They're not very nice. We have these fleas. These things are incredibly annoying and will latch onto you and make you go itchy, itchy time. So yeah, not very nice. This here is the corrupted skeleton. I don't know what in what circumstances this guy would spawn, but yeah, he reminds me of corrupt Steve and that's not a good thing. So yeah, that guy's creepy. We also have the ender creeper. Now these are the worst mob of all time. The, you will hate these with a passion because they can teleport like that. So imagine guys, you're mining away, you know, you don't even hear a creeper coming behind you and it just teleports behind you and literally explodes before you have a chance. Now this is a creeper oh man moment. Ready guys, let me switch into survival and I'll just show you real quick. Game mode S. Alright, here's the creeper. Alright, we're gonna hit the creeper. Look at this. And it'll literally come up to us. And look at this! It chooses when to explode. Okay, the corrupt skeleton's shooting me. All right, come on. It chooses when to explode. So it'll actually walk up to you, hit you a few times, and then explode in an attempt to kill you off. Normally, creepers, guys, they explode. So you see this guy actually hits you before he explodes because he's trying to make sure you die before uh, it's too late. So, yeah, literally worst mob ever. But guys... You guys want to know how to get these mobs? Let me show you real quick. So first off, we're going to have to leave our world. It's actually really, really easy. Then you want to go ahead. You can see the world's called subscribe, please. Please subscribe if you guys have enjoyed today's video so far. What you want to do is head down here to where it says behavior packs and 
Oh, do you see this? Zoo Craft Behavior Pack, and it's under Active Behavior Packs. Now, this is not there for you guys. It might actually be under here, under Available Behavior Packs. And what you want to do is click it and click the plus button, and it's going to pop up here. Now, if you don't see Zoo Craft anywhere here in your Behavior Packs, you can actually go ahead and download it into your Minecraft. It's really, really easy. It takes like two seconds. Just hit the link in the description below. Then you also want to come to Resource Packs and make sure that you've got this Zoo Craft Resource Pack as well. So, yeah, really, really cool, guys. Once you've had applied both of those to your world when you jump in and bang you can go ahead open up these will start spawning around your minecraft world you won't have to do anything but of course if you want to get them yourself you can search in spawn and look at this guys we have all these fantastic brand new spawn eggs including the crocodiles you know everything we saw in today's video you can go ahead and get in your own minecraft world so yeah really really awesome if you guys love animals i personally do a ton maybe you want to start a zoo maybe you just want a bunch more friends in your minecraft world i believe there are plenty of these mobs you can actually tame even though we didn't get to do that in today's video because you know there's just so many animals you can go ahead i challenge you guys to tame as many animals as you possibly can let me know in the comments down below how many you are able to tame leave a like share with your friends guys and i'll see you in the next video until then anyway stream out Bye.